Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 7. We're going to be talking about some deleted scenes, the gag reel, and also a few other things regarding an interview. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is some of the deleted scenes for Season 6. So, with the DVD and Blu-ray being released, like, you know, a week ago or so, in America, people had the ability to see these deleted scenes on those discs, and also, there is a gag reel, and there's some behind-the-scenes stuff. So, yeah, the Season 6 deleted scenes, there's quite a lot of them. I'm not going to be going through them all, I'm going to be mainly going over this one deleted scene that is very, very big I would say because it's sort of like a crossover and we're going to be talking about that but you can check out all the other deleted scenes on the disc or blu-ray if you get it basically there's some scenes you know scattered throughout the season whether it's like episode 10 15 19 you know there's a whole range anyway so we're going to be going through the first and probably the only deleted scene that I think is super super important and that is this this is in episode 10 and this was with Iris, Camilla, and Allegra. And so what happened in this episode titled Marathon was in this scene. And I believe we got something similar, but we didn't get like the whole scene or something like that. But it was a while ago, so I might be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But Kara essentially helps Iris. So that being Supergirl helping Iris. And it's a big surprise when people were posting about this, I was like, how is there, like, this mini crossover? Like, what happened? How did we miss this? But, yeah, it was a deleted scene. So, Iris in the scene talks about the fact that she's got a source. And she helped out with a case. And this was regarding Black Hole's entire agenda. And it's something to do with a dead man switch to do with Black Hole and their investigation into Carver and everything like that. I don't fully get what's going on. And I don't know the reason why she was helping. But Kara was in this photo that you can see on the screen right here with Iris after Camilla asks Iris, who is your source essentially? And she says just like a friend and then you cut to Iris and Kara in a photo. You know, I didn't know they ever had a photo, but it was really cool. I think this is a cool deleted scene because essentially it was like a mini crossover. They sometimes do that where they reference another character from another show or they have like a photo where they include you know other characters so i thought it was cool that they actually had that on the set they you know tried to incorporate supergirl into it and so this was episode 10 so pretty sure it was you know just after crisis so i guess it kind of made sense to continue on something to do with that if considering they just met again so anyway that was the big deleted scene but there was another deleted scene to do with crisis and this was in episode 9, so yeah, the episode before, this was one of the Crisis episodes, but this was on The Flash. Obviously, you had all the other Crisis episodes on Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, Legends, and everything. So yeah, we had this deleted scene in The Flash's episode. So what you see here is Oliver, so Green Arrow, and this is in The Flash's episode. That's why it's not in Arrow's deleted scenes. I'm sure there's more deleted scenes on the arrow disc that I'm sure is going to come out sometime very soon and anyway so in this episode we saw Oliver become the Spectre and obviously it led to how Crisis ended and it was heavily to do with Oliver but in this scene this would have been like the first reveal of Oliver becoming the Spectre because you see the other Spectre here and I think he sort of like transfers his Spectre powers to him I don't know what you call them but anyway, so he becomes Spectre, he's got the full cloak and hood and everything like that, and he's got the green glowing eyes. So, you know, I think it was a cool deleted scene, maybe could have been used in the episode, but I guess, you know, because they shot so much for Crisis, maybe they didn't want to use all of it. But yeah, some cool deleted scenes in the disc, so go get it on Blu-ray or DVD sometime, you know, this week if you want, and you live in America, I'm not sure. When it's coming out in different places, we'll have to wait and see. But the next thing I want to talk about was the Flash Season 6's bloopers, because they were really funny. I'm hoping I'm able to include a clip of the bloopers in this video. Hopefully I won't get copyrighted or anything like that. 
but they are very, very funny. So check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below to the full bloopers. It's about seven minutes long. I watched it. So funny. Obviously, it's a bunch of fails with the actors cursing, dancing, you know, just ad-libbing. Like, there's this great moment in the gag reel when Grant is in the pipeline cell. And he's like, guys, come on, you do this every time. Just get me out of here. There were many moments like that throughout the gag reel where I was just laughing my head off. And I think you guys will really, really like it. And I like to always talk about the gag reel when they release it, even though it's not like strict content as in regards to the shows and the plotting and everything's to come. Obviously, it's like just a funny thing to talk about, I think. So, you know, there's clips from all over the season with a whole bunch of characters and you know there's some really really funny stuff I think Grant and Candace had the best stuff I thought you know they were so funny and I just kept on laughing so yeah guys go check out the gag reel it's amazing and I really really liked it so hopefully you guys do as well that's also on the DVD and blu-ray if you do get that Okay, so let's move over to the final thing in this video. I want to talk about this interview I've been meaning to talk about from Discussing Film. And so this is an interview that was done by my friend. And he interviewed the showrunner of The Flash around the time of DC fandom. So yeah, I'm super excited to talk about this because it's a very good interview. And yeah, so The Flash film is currently set for release in 2022. Of course, we had that connection between itself and the TV series and Crisis on Infinite Earths. Are you looking forward to the film and what do you think we could potentially see the two Flashes meeting again next time potentially on the big screen? Well, Eric Wallace replies like this. Well, I'm glad you asked this. I'm so excited about the Flash movie. I will literally be the first person in line to go see it. I love all things of the Flash and all different iterations of the Flash. Obviously, in my heart of hearts, Grant is my favorite Flash because that's my show, you know. But it was such an honor and a privilege to have Ezra come play in our Arrowverse. Even though it was only that one scene with Grant and Ezra, they got along so well. So there's definitely a camaraderie there and a mutual respect for each other as performers because they're very, very different, right? They're very different people, but they also are both so, so talented and gifted. So yes, I can't wait to see his movie. I would love to see Grant appear somewhere in the version of the film. Say, I said, you know what? I'll give a couple weeks off easy now. I don't know if they'll do that, but I'm putting it out there because I know Grant would be excited. I think he would have some fun. I also told Ezra with open arms, we will welcome him back. I would love to have him back for longer for a full episode of The Flash if we can somehow make it happen. Schedules are tough though, he's a very busy man. Okay, so let's break that bit down. So this is the start of the interview. Eric Wallace basically confirmed that yeah, he's looking forward to The Flash film and he would love to see... Grant show up at some point and he's even willing to give Grant like a couple of weeks off to go shoot like some scenes for the Flash film so he's putting it out there he would love to do that Grant he knows would be really really excited so you know hopefully that happens hopefully there is a chance that Grant can be in that film considering it's Flashpoint I'm sure they can put in like you know some moments with Grant's Flash and you know explain oh this is how Ezra's Flash became the Flash. So I think that would be really cool and I think it's very very cool of Eric Wallace being such a big Flash fan that he would love to see Grant in the film and he would be willing to give him a couple of weeks off just to do that and that's so cool. But yeah, he also mentioned the fact that, you know, Ezra has the possibility of coming back like they said to him, you know, you can come back whenever you want. We want you for like a full episode. So when he has the time, you know, we'll have to wait and see and then maybe we will see that happen. Okay, so let's move on to the final thing that I want to talk about. This is at the end of the interview. This is the final question. So Stargirl is the latest addition to the CW's DC Universe and will be exclusively on the CW come season two. You mentioned about wanting to get the Amazons, Aquaman or Cyborg into the Arrowverse. Would you like to see a crossover between The Flash and Stargirl? Eric replied like this. Yes, of course, it's funny. I've actually met Breck in real life who plays Stargirl herself. So they're from like the same city they're both fans of baseball and he says well if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan you're welcome on my show at any point and I wouldn't be surprised at all to see those worlds cross at some point the problem is of course what universe is she in and what universe are we in we kind of have to figure that out story-wise 
And so in regards to that, I really do think that they have kind of figured out where they want to go with Stargirl potentially crossing over. I think they definitely will cross over at some point in the next season, probably on Stargirl. And so I don't think there's much of a problem, but right now, obviously, our main characters on Earth Prime don't know about the other Earths existing, these new versions of Earth. So that is a potential problem, but I don't think it'll be a problem in the long run. But yeah, so Stargirl may cross over at some point with the flash because eric wants it and i think the showrunners of stargirl have mentioned they want to do that and there have been talks about that as well so yeah that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to leave a like and a comment and share the video around and also subscribe it really helps out the channel so yeah i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.